I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you later. Oh, so oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, that's great that's B-roll. That's terrible. That's <laughs> B-roll right there. <laughs> Cramping! Never cramp on camera. It's the awkward stool. It's the <laughs> And then we have it, folks. Awkward stool hike does it every time. You know what? Let's hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, certified bourbon steward. I'm Nick, certified bartender. And with us today, we have a special guest again. It is... Paul. <laughs> I just drank a whole bunch of whiskey. Paul. Well, we'll just, yeah, there you go. We're just going to call Paul whiskey savvy individual. That's what, we, that's what we'll say for Paul. Because he does know stuff about whiskey and he's fairly savvy with it. So he's here. You saw him on the other episode that we did with the epic tasting from the Pappies. So um, now this is our second it's our second tour into the epic realm of unicorns that are out there that are hard to find. These are harder to find than your average, ordinary, everyday bourbons. Definitely not. These are easier to find than the pappies. Those are like the once a year, you know, good luck. The hunting starts in like end of November and it's just yeah. mayhem. Yeah. But good news that I did find out was that um, I guess they have like a second release for those sometime in the spring. So if you want oh. to go hunting again sometime in January, we'll go out, <laughs> put on a hat, and we'll go hit it. But for right now, this is our hunt, what we have right here. So we have, and I'll have the pictures in here so you can see the bottles and what's going on with all the different stuff. Um, but we have the Angel's Envy Cast Strength 2019 edition. We have the Elijah Craig 18 year, and we have the Old Forester 2018 birthday bourbon. So, mm. and I have them all in front of us. So we're going to go through, we'll work our way through them, give the different tasting notes, what we're getting on our palates. I also have some water here. So if we want, we have a regular water and we have our limestone water. Sounds so good. what are you hoping for? Anything great? Um... I'm more, I'm honestly, out of all of them, very excited to try the birthday bourbon. Okay. I just don't know what to... Yeah, like, it's, it's another one of those hype yeah. ones, you know? It's it's a lot, it's hard to find, it's yeah. it's limited release, so, um, I mean, Paul, what are you looking for out of it? The the birthday bourbon's been hyped a lot, so I'm anxious to try that. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, unfortunately, that'll be the last one, so we're going to have to wait, so see, the anticipation's <laughs> going to get everyone. So we'll work our way through. We'll start with the Angel's Envy. It was kind of cool. We got that down in Kentucky. We got it right at the distillery. Um, it's their 2019 release. They do it in November, so that's when we, you know, I grabbed it. We just happened to be down there the day, I think it was the second day that they did their release of it. So it's only released once a year. Um, so let's try that one. We'll get into it. We'll okay. go from there. So are you two gentlemen ready to whiskey? Ready and able. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's got a sweet. Mm. That smells really good. It's got uh, caramel. I'm getting caramel on there. I know I'm sure I'm going to be wrong when I look at the notes. The higher proof is noticeable. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, this is going to be up there. I think this is 122 proof. I want to 122.4. I think it is. Is it black cherry I'm smelling? Oh yeah, I can see some cherry. Def some kind of a dark fruit. Mm. All right, let's get into it. All right, I'm going in. Break it open. Ooh, mama! Wow, that's delicious. A it's good. More, a lot more richness. Yeah, there, it, it is rich. It's, it, you know, I thought it would be, it like actually dried out my tongue actually when I went, and I don't know if that's because of the alcohol, the proofing on it, what's going on. Ooh. This is also, it is a port finish, so I am getting like a wine, mm -hmm. a port barrel finish, a little whiny note in the back. That could be the dark fruits again, like you were picking up, and that could be from the finishing, um, the barrel finish they do with it. <clears throat> So that's what they do with this. They keep it in a in a wine barrel. Yeah, that's they, they, they move finish it. it. Move it to a port. They move it. They oh, do their okay. original aging. Will be in the the new oak. Then when they finish it, the last year or so, or however many months, it could be months, it could be a year. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's in the notes or not. But they they finish it in a port wine barrel. Okay. And they just let it sit there for a while till it takes on the notes that it want that they want from it. That's a long finish too. Yeah, it's it's long. it's it's, it's long. Um, and you know the thing is, um, when we were down in in uh, Kentucky went to a place and the guy, one of the actually bartender bar manager said, and he actually made a comment in one of our videos, Mike, he had said that, you know, he goes, Derek, you know, proof's so tricky. He goes, one thing goes, the longer the finish, the higher the proof. Yeah. So if you get that long, long finish on it, which mm. obviously I am, because it's still in there. It's still, right? yeah. it's still working. That's oh, definitely yeah. a higher proof. There's not as much on the nose as I'd hoped there would be. It, you know, I'm not getting a lot either on the nose. Like I said, I got that sweet caramel at first in there. 
like in the, uh, like the, for me, I'm getting like a slight wood going on. Very, you know, it's yeah. not a lot. It's not overpowering. It's in there. Um, the fruit note, like you had said, and I can't nail it down. It's I, almost I, like a fruit cake. Okay, like I like that. Yeah, like, yeah a sweet yeah. fruit cake to that. All right, um, you know, maybe some brown sugar, or maybe a baking spice, definitely going on in there too. But I mean, you're gonna go through the bourbons. You're gonna get that with a lot of them. Those will be in there, and obviously, everyone's palate is different. If you've tried these before, make the comments down below. Let us know, you know, what you, what you get out of it. I mean, obviously, what we'll get will be totally different than you. Or it'll be what I get is different than Nick, and definitely be different than Paul. All our palates are different, so we're gonna pick up different notes out of this. Um, so, which is pretty good. But let me look at the notes. I'll pull it out here. And we'll see what we got on this bottle, and we'll, then we'll work our way to the next one. Obviously, it's going to be a little different than we are normal because this is the the unicorn edition, you know, number two, unicorn number two. These are tough to find in our area, definitely. I mean, I have never ever seen the old Forester birthday bourbon out anywhere, and I had to work on a guy for over like almost two and a half months to get that bottle. <laughs> so um, it's tough. It's um, this like is cloves, um, or all, cloves or something is in the back. All right, we'll, let, we'll work our way down and we'll see what happens. This is 122.4 proof. It's 61.2% alcohol. The age, they do a blend. So it's an age of 6, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, and 15-year-old bourbons that they wow. mix together when they do it. So unfortunately, when you're doing bourbons, so really, in, in all honesty, the oldest that you can call this is six years old, even though they put 15-year-old bourbon in there. So they, you have to go by the youngest, so it's six years, okay. basically. The mash bill is assumed to be 72% corn, which will give you that sweetness, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. Um, it's Angel's Envy is the distillery, and the parent company is, it, I imagine it's Angel's Envy, because I, I couldn't find anything on it. Um, they say they judge only a handful of the barrels for exceptional that are exceptional enough for the lengthy finishing process. The result, even at 122.4 proof, every sip is worth savoring, a remarkably complex spirit. We suggest you enjoy it neat, but with just a splash of water to release the flavors and nuances, which if you want, we got the water, we'll give that a whirl too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the regular uh, spring water, and we have some limestone water there if you want that. And perhaps with a few friends who appreciate it. Only 14,000 bottles of this will be made in the special release. So that's all the bottles that they have for this that will be released in the United States. It's 14,000. So it is. it definitely is rare. I mean, if you think of how many people are bourbon drinkers in the U.S., and they only make 14,000 bottles. So that is a rarity. So let's go through. The uh, appearance is a deep, rich amber. Yep. <laughs> I'll, I have I'm gonna, I'll trust it. No, not at all. I'd no. say it's more leathery with yeah. a little bit of... All right, so, looks like my floor. <laughs> so on the nose with the, you know, I'd say that's more of a kind of a hardwood finish. Um, but on the nose, it says honeyed apples, peach, apricots, overripe banana, black tea, toasted oak, slight chai with floral notes. So if you said anything, you were right. <laughs> they put it all in there. Yeah, um, it smells wonderful. It does. It has a really light. It has yeah. a fruity nose to it. It yeah. does have that light nose to it. Banana, I wasn't getting on that at all. I couldn't pick no. black tea. You yeah. can get that in there, maybe. Um, that we did say a little bit of the wood in there. Um, we did say it was sweet, but we did, and we did say florally kind of in there. Uh, on the palate, it says honey, apples, butterscotch, toffee, mellow vanilla with a hint of oak and toast. I said caramel, and I can't get any of those correct. <laughs> so someday I will actually tell you what exactly I'm tasting, and it'll be amazing. Yeah. But until then, it's vanilla, <laughs> not caramel, <laughs> not caramel Out of today. All the Out of everything that was listed. Not caramel. No, nope, uh, yeah, you know, it. I rolled the dice 50-50 again and came up wrong, folks. Well, good things we won at craps last yeah, night. Oh, well, good thing we won, we won at craps last night. Today, not so much. Rolling the dice. Not rolling oh, on, well. Wait, rolling, you know, um, it's rolling. a. The finish on it, it says a medium left finish with a pleasant tannin notes trailing into black tea. Yeah, the tannin's that dry feeling. Yeah, that dryness yeah. that you're getting on the back of your tongue, which I said, you know, that I was getting on there. Mm. Um, MSRP for this. Anyone want to take a guess on what MSRP for this little devil would be? <sighs> Now, mind you, MSRP is what the manufacturer suggests we sell it for. What you may pick it up for is totally different. Two it's, ten. I'm gonna guess hundred and a quarter. Okay. Well, two ten is the closest. Hundred and a quarter. One ninety nine. Yeah. Is that's what you'll get um, for the for the MSRP on that? So I was over. You win. <laughs> you win, Bob. I was gonna uh, next on the Price is Right, but yeah. I mean, what do you think of the water? I actually like the water in it. Do you think it opened it up any? Did you get more out of it? Yeah, I did. See, I, I prefer without the water. Would you? Yeah, it softened up the nose, made the nose a little more approachable. Yeah. But it shortened the palate and made the palate, you got rid of the, the fullness for me. Okay. okay. I liked it without the water better. Yeah. But it's still delicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that. 
See, it, I it brought out more of the tannins to me right there. It emptied out the, the yeah that, that 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 sweet finish and what, everything yeah, that was in there before. It it just kind of wipes it out. Yeah, you're right. Okay. See, I'd be interested to try it on the rocks. I wonder uh, what the oh, rocks would do. All right, well, it'd be for different. me because I like the water, so the rocks would melt into. <laughs> that would be interesting if we, you know, what I mean, but hey, you know, if it, everyone drinks this different, that's the whole thing. Maybe to do something better, you know, maybe you'll get more out of it than us. But mm -hmm. um, you guys want to break down into the Elijah Craig and see where we go with that one? Of course. All right. I'll do it this time. Are you guys ready to whiskey? <laughs> right, ready and able. All right, here we go. Totally different nose on that. Very different. This wow. Is, this is Elijah Craig 18 year. Another one, tough to find, limited release. Once a year, they put this out. Ooh, that is sweet and lots of. It's, it's like the sweet. I'm getting the brown sugary notes like in there that in the background on this. The alcohol is not even. No, it's it's a low it's a low proof. Yeah, and this okay. one is a low proof. It's not high at all, which is weird for me that it's a special release. It's an 18 and they, year, and they keep the it's only 90 proof. They keep it way down, which yeah. is surprising for me. You know, which would you would figure they would do it, but I guess they, when they put out their barrel proof one, they were like, hmm. we need something in between, maybe I don't know. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big oak. Yeah. Oh yeah, almost. Just oak. It, almost wow. just oak on that. It, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Good. It was overpowering. It, it's a lot of oak in there. And it's short. The finish is short. Oh, very. Yeah. Maybe it, it's compared because we went down proof so it, much. It could be because we went down that so proof, but it, it is, it's a lot shorter finish. Definitely. I mean, it was like you drank it, it was gone right after it got off the back of your tongue. This one might be, I almost, I'm afraid to actually put water on this one. But it, it's like a. I can't get I don't want to say. The banana, because you said banana in the last one, but <laughs> I feel like now I'm getting banana. Okay. And that could. Be I feel like I smell banana. Completely power suggestion. I don't taste it. I just. <laughs> smell. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, you could get it, I guess, on the nose, and it wouldn't be on the palate. I mean, there is a fruit note in there. Mm. The woods, almost too the much. Wood the wood is it's, just it's probably is too much. I think the, the wood, wood on the nose and the wood on the the palate. It, it's very heavy and very oaky on that one. Um, I will put some agua in there just for the because that's what we do here. We, we try it all once and we, we like we see if it works for us or not. Not bad. <clears throat> I mean, it's good. You know, I mean, which, which one do you want? There you want limestone? Regular, water's regular fine. water is fine. All right. I'm fancy. You are fancy. <laughs> you like to spritz it up. Ding! Knocks it over. <sighs> shatters it totally. Pieces. And right there would be the end. You just, it, it would be, this is the, <laughs> this would be the film that would send me to prison. <laughs> And Nick was never seen and again. again. <laughs> Sorry. In, the, so in is, the rivers of fairies. Is there a spot available now? <laughs> yeah. There would be a yeah. new spot available after I get out of prison. You could take over the show until I get out. <laughs> we should uh, just film the intro now. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and my fill in Paul. Nick is no longer with us today. Yeah. We don't talk about it. <laughs> no, thank God. I wasn't actually in the midst of that. <laughs> I don't care for the water. Actually, if the water, if anything, just brought out the wood notes more. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm really getting, I mean, you know, it's a light, again, I'm getting like a light brown sugar there. Maybe a little, like, honey in the back. Very Maybe slight. Little, yeah. It's not, yeah. More orange peel. I'm kind of more, I'm, I'm a little disappointed by that one. I was thinking way more, you know, and that's the whole thing that, I mean, you talk to people and they say the age doesn't matter, you know, I mean, you could pay whatever, you know, 18 year, it's, it, it could be, better than or it could be worse than you know you could have your regular little five-year or four-year-old you know uh bourbon there for aging but let's see i'm gonna give these to you nick all right and you can tell us about mr elijah craig there and i can try reading you can right. try reading <laughs> if it works for you. elijah craig <laughs> it's 90 proof 45 percent alcohol the mash bill is 78 percent corn 10 percent rye and 12 percent malted barley Distillery is Heaven Hill, and parent company is the same. Our 18-year-old bourbon is bottled so solely from the contents of one barrel, not the mingling of many. This expression of bourbon-making craftsmanship is bold and robust. Truly a bourbon for the avid collector. The bo this bottle has won countless awards and is regularly listed as a top choice by those who, appreci who appreciate its smooth yet complex flavor. Uh... 
Yeah, the, the rest is just a little bit of history. Yeah, that's the history. That's from like our old ones that I just yeah. Like, I use the so same go back ones. and watch our Elijah Craig. Of the you can hear about the history of Elijah history. Craig. You know, the pioneer of bourbon. So the myth. the appearance is warm. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of hiding from you. I feel like Gia, you were looking at the notes. Warm and deep leather. Okay. Text the nose right. was aged oak, spiced vanilla, and notes of mint and chocolate. Mint. Mm. Yeah, everyone goes back with chocolate. Really? No. <laughs> yeah. See, and that's the whole thing. Like, I will tell no, you this: okay. that all so the that notes, all the notes that I got for everything that we've been drinking, I've got it directly from the distillers. Right. So it's their notes. It's exactly what they say we should be getting. I mean, you can go and you can pull up notes for a hundred other, you know, different people that have tried it. They'll all be different. But this and is single barrel too. Yes, every barrel is unique. It, that's that's true. Generic yeah, notes yeah, yeah make, generic notes are tough that's because a good if, point. They, if that is Barrels a really good point. Give you yeah, traits. that is very yeah. true too. So every barrel will be a slightly different. So maybe the barrel they did they got the mint notes on, and this one I'm not getting any of that out of this. I don't I don't find mint or chocolate. It's just berry. If it's there, it's berry in the oak. Yeah, the the oak is definitely all. I mean, it's just so strong with this one. It comes through really really strong. I feel like I am getting a little bit of the chocolate on the nose, but. Maybe it's my limestone water. <laughs> <laughs> Just so the, uh, the limestone tastes like chocolate. Uh, the palate, richly textured, nutty, and semi-sweet. Initial bursts of honey give way to toasted wood and pleasant char. The finish is a lively and engaging, and then lingers with vanilla and pepper. Which I can get a little bit of pepper. I guess the there. pepper maybe a little bit, but I'm yeah. getting more of that, the, you know, the initial, you'd said leather initially, and that's like that textiliness that you're getting in there, along with that oak, and that just keeps coming through for me. I just can't get past those things with it, really. Mm. I mean, it's easy drinking. It's smooth. It's not It's oh, not yeah. harsh in any way. Like, you could definitely drink on this. I mean, it's only 90 proof, too, so you're not really too much going on. But as far as deep complexity in there, maybe it's just my palate. I don't know. I'm not I, getting yeah, a lot. I don't think it's the anything. mint, I'm not getting anything close to anything yeah. minty out of that at no, all. You know what I mean? I'm glad we have another one because a lot of times I feel like I'm, I'm going mental after we read the notes and yeah. it's like, how am I not getting this? But I know. You know I, at least we have a third person here that say, I'm not getting it either. All right, I feel point. better. Yeah. I feel a little better about it. All right, what do you think the price is? <sighs> just because of the age, it's got to be over two. Um, I mean, they lose so much. I know. Uh, unfortunately, I just I just you did all know. the notes. <laughs> I know what it is. I did the notes uh, today on what the MSRP is on it, what you're going to find it for. I don't know because, look, again... People on the you know the the blogs and whatnot that I you know that we frequent the, the, the black market of the bourbon. black market of bourbon that I frequent <laughs> uh, no but the blogs and the different you know F Facebook uh, groups guys are getting that for like 125 150 bucks a bottle um, you know so obviously secondary market how easy it is for the dis, you know distributors to get it and you know how what they have to jump through hoops to find it I don't know I know it's a hundred and some odd dollars for the bottle I so. was gonna guess 175 actually but it's 120. Yeah, one twenty for that bottle. for that bottle right there, which is actually you know what it's actually a good good price. For that's that. a, for, oh, for yeah. what you're getting out of it. It's actually that's sure. the eighteen year. That's a good price if for that. If you like the oak, if you like the, the oak, oak, yeah, oak, yeah, oak like forwardness oak on that, yeah. you know if you if yeah. you're into those that that oakiness in there, definitely the wood you're gonna get out of that. So yeah, um, but. Other than that, we're going to move on. We're going on we're to going the one that we it. all want to try. Uh, this is the one everyone's been waiting for here. We're going to go into the birthday bourbon. Woo. So this is the 2018 edition. This one is not running that hot, I don't think, if I remember correctly. So uh, The hottest they've had, though. No, actually, no? 2019 was hotter than this. The 2019 edition. Oh, was this is 18. I think this is the no. I'm sorry, no. This is the 18. Okay, so 2018. The 2019 was came in hotter than this one. Okay. Up until the point, I believe this was the hottest one they yeah. had. Yeah. Um, I think this is like 101.5. I want to say. And they didn't go up much. No, it was like no, another. Points. I think it went like 105. Maybe yeah. is the newest one. Um, so are we ready to whiskey, gentlemen? Ready and able. All right, here we go. Ooh, that is like a super sweet candy. Oh, that smells wonderful. <laughs> it is a really sweet candy note on the nose. Oh my god, if you smell too much though, it smells a little bit like nail polish remover. Well, yeah, okay. Well, you get maybe that's the ethanol in there too. Yeah, yeah you're getting the alcohol. If you it's sniff it's too over 100 proof. You, and you know me, I well, like I to know go. You, like, I, I tell Nick, you can go in deep <laughs> on this one. You go, oh, I can't I just start pouring more. Nick, you're all right. Come back from the light. I do that too often. I never learn. No, well, you do. My parents used to say that too. You never learn, Nick. You <laughs> yeah. never learn. You never learn, Nick. <laughs> I like it because it makes me giggle. <laughs> That's just me, though. I'm cruel like that. Wow. That's tasty. Well, that's I'm by getting... far the best. 
out of these, things. seriously, I, I that like was the, like the, the sweetest thing is, I've sweet. ever tasted. It is. You're getting a, you're getting wow. those really sweet candy notes, and there's some sours oh, in there wonderful. too. And I don't know where that's going, but the finish is really nice. It's like a, it, I mean, I keep going wow. back to that candy, but I in almost like a cottony candy kind of a deal going on there. I think for me anyway, I'm getting like that cotton candy, that sugariness to it. The nose is really nice. I mean, that's got like that's the brown wonderful. sugars. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say caramel vanilla. There we go. I got them both. <laughs> maybe toffee. Maybe. Oh, maybe. okay. Maybe toffee. All right. There's something. I different. saw the toffee. I don't know the difference between caramel and toffee. These no, you know what's you know what's the hardest is actually we found out vanilla caramel, but then toffee butterscotch. Yeah, toffee and butterscotch. Are For some to, reason, to discern between the two, it's mm. like they're they're so close. You could close put them on with you on toffee. I probably couldn't type. We could put them on the table. We have them. <laughs> we have them. We I could. I have them. We'll get it Yeah, we can, we'll show you afterwards, and you'll go. Yeah, there's nothing. And but the thing is with that is you have to have really fresh stuff, and I think we need to redo some of our scent kit. I think it's caramel. Okay. The nose Caramel is awesome. and toppy. The nose the palette is, is unreal. Because it makes like a trip. It does. Where you go from spicy to sweet and savory. Yeah. It's, it is it is all over. And that's, it's, you know, when we used to use the terminology a lot, that roller coaster ride that we used to go on. This, when you get it, it's the highs and the lows and you're there. It doesn't finish. It's not a, it's a long finish. It's not short at all. And right. it keeps you, it keeps you interested in it the whole ride, really. The finish is sweet to me. Okay. When you think it's yeah. gone, to me anyways, you think it's gone. It, feels it ends sweet and just yeah. stays there. I like that. I really enjoy this one. This one is very good, and I tried the delicious. 2019 when we were in Kentucky. Um, the, the 2019 is way more candied. Oh, like, as yeah. much candy as you're getting out of this, that one to me was way more candy to it. It was really sweet. This is very similar, um, obviously, but um, the the rot, this is delicious. I yes, really like this one. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to buy this bottle. Yeah. And now I'm going to have to work on him for the 2019 that I know he has. Definitely. <laughs> We should go there right in a couple minutes. <laughs> right, right after right we now. finish taping, we're we'll going go to an undisclosed right, guys. store. 3D. I'll tell 3D. you after I have the bottle from the gentleman where we found it. But yeah, I mean, I know he had it, and he, I was working on it for a little while, trying to get... He, he had a 2017, an 18, and a 19. Okay. He originally said he was going to get me the 17. He ended up, he brought the 18, which was at one of his stores. He, ended, he grabbed and brought it, and he said, I got it for you. I said, all right. Then it was just working on the price for him. Um, and he gave me a really good deal on this. I knew that I was going to end up paying close to what I was going to end up paying for it, but I was actually really pleased with it because it's so hard to find, and I've never seen yeah. it around here. No, it's I've like one of those ones, one. like, I've got, you know, all the liquor stores I've been in, and the sad part is when I go to a liquor store, it kills me, is when I ask them and they look at me like, huh? i never heard of that before. What are you talking about? Old Forrester? Yeah, he's Old Forrester. No, I don't want the 1897. Right. I don't want the 1820. I said, I want the birthday bourbon. The, one, All right. the one you have on back. back. Yeah, the one yeah. that you don't know about that your manager's keeping yeah. in the back room somewhere. Go get your, you know, manager. Go get your Go owner. Go get your owner because he knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, a lot of them don't know. And like we went to one the other day and we were asking about actually the Pappy Van Winkle. And they were like, oh, it'll be on the back shelf. I was like, no, it won't be on the back no. shelf. No, it will not be back there <laughs> you at all. You don't know all. what you're talking the about. The butt they they... Insisted on taking me back there to look at what I just looked at. No, I hate to do it, but I am gonna try well, the water. It's fine. You bring it down a little bit. It may open it up, maybe for some of those well, other yeah. notes that we can't. I get was out getting of. on the nose. I was getting some corn. I was getting a little black tea, maybe a little cherry, but more corn. The corn's in my face. Um, right now, yeah, after you actually said it, because again, you know, power suggestion and whatnot, I am getting that that slight dusty like corn note in there. A dusty corn? A dusty corn. Like an ear of corn that just was no, sitting it's on your like, counter too I would have to say, on it. I mean, well, you know, I, I'm really not, Interesting. I, I, that's not the kind of corn I prefer, but I'm thinking more of like the grain of corn itself, you know, that's in there. You got a little of the powder yeah. residue on there. Dusty, I know. dusty just, corn. I know what you're doing to me and you're not going to get me, Nick. I'm going to be bigger than this. Mm, dusty mm. corn. <laughs> Yum. Uh you know, this is what I, I have to work with. It just smells so nice. I just want to be Fortunately, it. we're giving Paul his tryouts right now for, yeah. to take over for Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I can vote. Yeah, we can have a vote. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it'd be like Survivor. Oh, right? Everyone, yeah. you know, we're going to do it. We're going to have a vote at the end of this. Your Nick, torch has been, been, Nick, your torch has been put out. Yeah. <laughs> say goodbye to your friends. <laughs> say goodbye to your friends. If anything you like to say. I just have to keep walking. In the yeah, just walk. Just walk right over. You just keep wandering away. Don't even get in your car. You just walk. I'll give you a bandana. <laughs> what do you think of your water? Water just killed it. Yeah.
Just absolutely ruined it. Yeah, whatever you were getting, it's it's just, it, it just diluted everything and knocked it down. It ruined the sweet finish. The sweet yeah, finish went to like a peppery finish. Yep. Yep. I yeah, it, it did. Yeah. did bring well, out the see, I wasn't, it. Yeah. Before, I was tasting a little bit of that pepper on the back, but I was like, uh, I wonder if the water would do it. You're so right. Yeah, on it, went, it went from right there. Before, it went pepper sweet. Yes. And now it stops at pepper and just rises. No sweet. No the sweet. Yeah. Long, but the yeah, no, it, it took all that sweetness, that candiness right out of it. So just whatever the palate. you get. The nose didn't change. No, the nose didn't change. It was just on the palate. It kind of, it just. Dulled it all down, really. Yep. So for our guest, he gets to read. I can read. read. <laughs> you can't read? All right. He's going to use <laughs> sign language. Sign language. He'll shoot it out to us. Um, so this is the Old Forester 2008 birthday bourbon. It's 101 proof, 50.5% alcohol, age 12 years. So it's a 12 year old. Mash bill is assumed to be 72% corn, 18% rye, and a 10% malted barley. Distillery is Old Forester. The parent company is Brown Foreman. Um, the 2018 birthday bourbon has drawn was drawn from 12 year old barrels from different warehouses and floors. A total of 120 barrels, 93 barrels matured together on the third floor, on the northwest side of the J building. The remaining 27 barrels were matured together on the third floor of the north northwest side of the warehouse number I warehouse I. Okay, barreled in June of 2000 June 9th 2006 Old Forest. Birthday Bourbon 2018 is presented at 101 proof. This is the first birthday bourbon vintage to be bottled at the new Old Forester Distilling Company on Louisville's historic Whiskey Row. So, it's the, the, I guess the first bottling they did at that building. Each year on September 2nd, Old Forester unveils a highly anticipated limited release bourbon to commemorate the birth of George Garvin Brown, the co-founder of the parent company Brown Foreman. So, every year they do that. I've been doing it for quite a while. All right, so on the appearance, we have a rich mahogany okay. is in there. Uh, the nose is singularly focused initially with a pronounced rich dark cherry cobbler. Note, opening into a dynamic build of caramel. You said that too, sir. Dark chocolate. Again, I never get the chocolates in these. Covered smoked almond nuttiness with hints of charred oak. So you get some of the wood in there. Um, on the palate is a touch of herbal lemon tea sweetened with a touch of honey. Round out its depth and character. Subtle sweetness blossoms into a warm and green spiced multi-dimensional experience brightened by a lemon honey note followed by again by a cherry cobbler. Huh. If the finish is long and drying with an herbal lemon honey sweetness. Okay. So. A lot of le lemon They definitely honey. talk about different layers. In the well, they're, they're, they're yeah. talking about all the layers. I mean, yeah. there's a lot going on in there. And this is, again, these are the, the notes I actually got from the distillery itself. So this is what they're saying you, you should be getting in there. Okay. Um, so they, they, I mean, there's a lot going on. Obviously, yeah. you got a lot going on in there. Um, what do we think the price on this for MSRP is for this one? I'm gonna guess two twenty-five. Yeah, it's gotta be two and a half. All right. Well, MSRP on it is ninety-nine dollars. What? Ninety-nine. I would buy it all day for ninety. For ninety-nine bucks, I would get it all day. That's. That's Secondary incredible. market, you're going to be paying 225 to 250 yeah. for that easily for, for what you're getting out of that right now. But that's secondary market. That's again, it's such. But for a secondary wow. market, that is a good price. That's I feel like that's either 225. That's a really it yeah, really is. Bottle. I think yes. that's a great price for that. Above that, I wouldn't even touch it. Right. You know what I mean? It, it's right. It's price marked right. If you can get it for 225 in that 250 range. Um, which you're gonna get because the, again, it's like it's similar to that Pappy. It's uh, it's a limited release, yeah. limited amount of bottles. It's coming out once a year, and when the liquor stores get it, they know what they have. Yeah, so you yeah. know, so they're gonna either try to mark it up or you know they're gonna That's do what true. they have. Yeah. They're making their money on it, and I, I get it. I understand. You know, it's it's a tough, it's a hard allocation item. But yeah, so all day long at you know two twenty five, I'd grab that all the yeah. time. So it really wouldn't you know that is a great price for it. Um, anything more, definitely not. So gentlemen, what do we think as far overall? Angels Envy, Elijah Craig, Old Forest of Birthday. So we're gonna go like one to three or three. Well, to let's one. let's let's start with what are you gonna give this? We'll give it our regular chug jug ratings. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go right down. You know, okay. we don't have enough all chug. Right. Judge to do All the right. rating, but we'll just verbally say what we get. Nick. Uh, I just said we don't have enough, but Nick's going to No, I just want to hold one. one. He just wants to oh, you just, well, just want to <laughs> hold one? One chug. <laughs> just, oh, that, that's what they look like. So imagine that multiplied by yeah. zero or five. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Paul, what do you think of Elijah Craig? Where, where would you, I'm, I'm sorry, The Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy, it's a, 
It's a three and a half, maybe three seven five for me. Oh, all right, it's very okay. good. I, I I agree with you on that. I would I would push it like yeah. I would say three seven five, three point seven five. If we could balance our jug yeah. jugs on there, okay. little edges like we like to do sometimes, and say if I yep. could, I'd put it there. The till it was, it, and I still get some left, so I can go back. Good. The nose is very. It's got that. It's got a really oh, good so nose. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna push it to four. I'm gonna give it a four on that. Just the nose alone that just pushed me over the edge for that. I'm gonna give it a four for the chug jug scale. Okay. Partially because of the limited release on it, and you know what you have to go through, jump through hoops to try to find it. So I actually like tasting it after yep. going through them. I was gonna go three and a half as well, Paul, um, which is that actually is really high for me. <laughs> yeah, that's super um, high. That's super high. If you watched our show, you know that's high. Yeah. Um, I really like that actually. That's okay, the yeah, that's a good was, I'm nice. The the nose was. So sweet and so nice, and then the yeah, I know. <laughs> and then the palate was just so tasty. And it even was. just after going through all three and just retasting it just now, I'm like, that is such a nice one. Yeah, no, no. port wine finish is what makes that whiskey. Yes, yes but I think that I is. I think that's what's giving that. it that sweetness too. Yeah. As you're getting that wininess, those fruit notes, yeah. everything's kind of coming through on the back end of it, yeah. and it's really pushing it there. But yeah, I'm gonna go with a four on that. You're at what three and a half, three and which and is half. huge. Three, and <laughs> three seven five. So yeah. there we go. <laughs> Next on the agenda is the Elijah Craig, which. Yeah. If you like oak, you can. I'll give it a five. If you like oak, if yeah. you, if you're all about the wood. Well, we talked about how like we all off camera, we all like Elijah Craig, um, but in a way, to me, this disappointed me a little bit. I just like I was. I guess I was expecting something a little bit more than normal, and, and it, I'm it, sure, it didn't. It didn't get that. I'm sure we're offending someone with saying that right now with the 18. Year, it's but, good. But it's honestly, good. if I had to but choose between not, this 18 year and the barrel proof, I'd go with the barrel proof all day long. I would buy the barrel proof. Every I time. would. I would go between the two, especially for the price point and what you're getting. The, I would go with the barrel proof. Too much of the wood comes through in the 18. Yeah, the 18. You're getting a lot of that and wood note is you definitely lose pushing all yeah. the other complexity yep. in the barrel proof. I agree with you totally with that. Um, for me, I'll give that. A three. I'm gonna give Elijah Craig 18 year a three. A three chug jug. I'm gonna give it a three as well. Actually. Wow. Okay, that's yeah. actually better. Yeah. All right, so it's a three across the board. It's for delicious, everybody. but it's just oak forward. All right. Yeah. yeah, it is very oak forward. I agree with uh, definitely with that one. Now we are at the Old Forester, going back in again for the nosings. That nose is amazing, honestly. It's just it's, like to, it's like a blanket. Go, it's like it's two nice. different ends of the spectrum, really. Like I like the nose on the um, Angel's Envy. Yep. Yeah, but, but this I one is a, it's a lot sweeter. It's a it's a lighter nose. It's well, it's coming off more candiness. That like candy, a, like a pastry fruit, bakery. Yeah, yes. yes, yes. Ooh, pastry bakery. Right. What are you guys doing after this? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about food, <laughs> Nick. We're going for Chinese, Nick. <laughs> but you're not. Mm. But um, that one right there. What are you going to give the old forest, Nick? I'm going to give it a four. Woo! I'm gonna That's give it up a there, kids. That is. That is yeah. up there. I really enjoyed this a lot between the nose, the palate, just everything wrapped in together. Um, it was so pleasant. I really, really so enjoyed pleasant. this. It was a pleasant trip. It was. Yeah, it was. I'm four and a quarter on the birthday bourbon. It's, the, the finish is just the, the roller coaster ride. Yeah, yes. it, it is very good. I like the, the birthday bourbon. It was very good. I was going to give it a four and a quarter myself. Yeah. Um, it's up there. It could maybe go to four and a half. It's, it's right in that realm. I think it's more four and a half without the water. I like yes. it without the water. I was going to say, I would yeah, say with the water, because water. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying it right now. We did do dilute it down a little yeah. bit, but yeah. um, four and a half, four and a quarter, definitely in there for the Old Forester birthday bourbon. It was really good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. So, well, that's it. That's going to wrap it. it up for us, kids. We done it. We did it all here right Unicorns. here. This is the Unicorn Edition. Number two is done. Derek, Nick, Mr. Paul here for us today. Paul, you know, thanks for coming yes, on. Yeah, thanks for coming on. It was awesome. Of course, we right, loved of it. Yep. You know, maybe you know another special guest appearance. Who knows when I get rid of Nick? You know, who knows what's gonna happen? It's, it gets wacky here sometimes. So <laughs> we people are gonna be concerned. They are you gonna really be concerned. Get rid of like, Nick? Are you really yes. getting rid of Nick? Because I said <laughs> yeah. it like the last three, yeah. four episodes. <laughs> I'd be questioning Keep, my choices. There's a lot of foreshadowing. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> So everyone, grab your favorite. Oh, oh yeah. Paul had too many favorites. Paul had way too many favorites. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hey everyone, I was hoping that you all find a little bit of luxury. <laughs> Another wise ordinary life. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Take care. Right. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.